Welcome back. Uh, today we'll be talking about section 4.7 on L'Hopital's rule. And uh, the very first problem that we're going to look at is problem number 15, and it asks us to evaluate the limit. Limit as x goes to 1 of ln of x divided by 4x minus x squared minus 3. Okay, so uh, obviously the section here is on L'Hopital's rule, so we'd probably expect to use L'Hopital's rule somewhere on this problem. But the very first thing that we always are going to do when we come across a limit and we think maybe L'Hopital's rule would be the right choice uh, to, to tackle this problem is we want to see what is the form of this uh, rational function or this uh, function divided by another function. We've got a top, we've got a numerator, we've got a denominator. And if I plugged in 1 to the numerator and I plugged in 1 to the denominator, uh, what would I get out? Okay. Now, in this case, and so I'm going to use these little squiggly uh, <clears throat> lines here to say this isn't actually true that this is what this equals, but this is just the form that this uh, fraction is in. So if I plug in 1 to the top, I get the natural log of 1. And we know that the natural log of 1 is 0. Uh, if I plug in 1 to the bottom, I get 4 minus 1 minus 3, which is 0. So this limit has the form 0 over 0. And if a uh, fraction like this, if the limit of some fraction where there's a numerator and a, denom and a denominator and it has the form 0 over 0, or it has the form infinity over infinity, then it's in exactly the right form to use L'Hopital's rule. If it does not, then you cannot use L'Hopital's rule. Okay, So that might mean we have to do more work to get it into a form for L'Hopital's rule, or it might mean... Uh, that you just can't use L'Hopital's rule at all. But since this has the form 0 over 0, then we can use L'Hopital's rule. Another thing that's worth noting is that the answer is not 0 over 0. That doesn't even make any sense. There is no such thing as 0 over 0. That's an undefined value right there. So we can't even talk about 0 over 0. So certainly the answer is not 0 over 0. So now we're ready to use L'Hopital's rule to help me to evaluate this thing. And what L'Hopital's rule tells me to do is I'm going to say that this is equal to, I'll rewrite my limit. This is the limit as x goes to 1. And now what I want to do is I want to take the derivative of the top and put it on the top. And the derivative of the bottom, I'm going to put on the bottom. Okay. The derivative of natural log of x, we know, is 1 over x. So 1 over x will go on the top of the fraction. And the derivative of 4x minus x squared minus 3 is 4 minus 2x. Okay. So the next thing I want to do here is I want to say, OK, so now that we're here, can I plug in the 1? Can I go ahead and take this limit with x going to 1? And do things turn out OK? Well, if I plug in 1 to the top at this point, I get a 1. And if I plug in 1 to the bottom at this point, I get a 2. And that's great. So I can go ahead and take a limit. I can use an equal sign here. Everything's fine. And I get 1 over 1 divided by 4 minus 2 times 1, or 2. So I just get 1 over 2. And that is my limit. So I used L'Hopital's rule here and was able to get a limit of 1 half.